Hey guys, I just want to quickly remind you we have a giveaway going on right now for the Mythic Edition of the Satisfy Grip for Nintendo Switch. Yours that we're giving away is right here. Set down to the pin comment in down in the description or the pin comment, whatever. You know, we're gonna have a link to enter. All it requires is that you're subscribed to the channel. I think that's fair because we're trying to do a giveaway to our subscribers. Also, guys, we're on our road to 150,000 subscribers. So I would just appreciate if you enjoy this content, if you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and you know what? We just might get there. So today we got to talk about something with Tears of the Kingdom that is absolutely insane. And it's so far beyond anything I thought possible with this game when it came out. I knew it had a shot at winning Game of the Year and that had a shot to potentially top Breath of the Wild as my favorite Zelda game, my favorite game of all time. But what I didn't know is where it would rank among all of the critics. And sure, it has a 96 on Metacritic. It is still right now the highest rated game of all time over on Open Critic that doesn't have as deep of a review library. They haven't been around as long as, as uh, Metacritic. And Metacritic, obviously, you see a 96. That's below Super Mario Odyssey 2. It's below Breath of the Wild and a whole bunch of number of games. But it still did something that Breath of the Wild uh, didn't do, at least didn't do back in its heyday. And that is this. Let's go over to my Twitter where I tweeted this out the other day. And it says, so Tears of the Kingdom now has more perfect scores on Metacritic than any game in history. How many perfect scores? In fact, 80. 80 perfect scores out of 135 or so reviews. We'll look over and glance at that in a moment to show you guys, but the, like, look at this. I tweeted this out and 10.7k likes, 96 quote tweets, 554 retweets. It's actually sort of interesting going through this because not everyone agrees or is happy about this for some reason. By the way, it having all these perfect scores didn't make it a perfect game. Uh, I don't think that's really the argument I was trying to make, but it's interesting going through it. Uh, I've been getting tagged in this stuff just all day. Uh, so you look at this, well-deserved. I haven't finished the game yet. It deserves it. The GOAT. Not that meta scores matter, but Tears, of the, uh, Tears is the game that deserves it, and so does Alien Isolation. <laughs> Perfect game. Uh, this is from an account I muted, apparently. Uh, let's go. Biggest game of the decade. I don't know why they're muted. Uh, it might have been a misclick on my phone that happens sometimes. Uh, great game. Loved it. Still had to rush through it. My hour 60 was exhausting. 8 out of 10 at best. See, this is what I mean. That's what I mean. Room Ultra Hand, it'll just be a Breath of the Wild massive expansion. There are some people that aren't happy that this game, and I'm not a big fan of it. I kind of wish. It deserves high ratings, but there's definitely room for improvement. Game's fine. Not my favorite. Decent enough, but come on now. Look at this. Look at this. Look at all these negative comments because I pointed out a factoid about Tears of the Kingdom. I have to admit the story to another one, which is exactly why it's going to win Game of the Year. I'm going to go ahead and heart that one. Uh, it's up there because it is. Once you get past the N64 textures, it's a good game. That's... People forget how bad N64 used to look. Uh, let's see here. Betcha beats Last of Us 2 in Game Awards. Maybe. I hope the reviewers actually finish the game before slapping 10 out of 10. I played and beat it, and the more bitter I got. This ain't 10 out of 10, fam. This is 7 out of 10 at best. Dude, you know how many negative comments are on here? There's a lot of positives. Awesome. Good. I love it. Awesome. Good. I love it. But then there's also, like, a bunch of... A bunch of negative comments as well. But that's what happens when you're in the world of the Twitter verse. But enough about Twitter, right? Enough about Twitter, right? Like, look, who really cares what people on Twitter said? A fact is a fact. It is literally the most perfect scores of Metacritic history. So let's go glance at those 80 something reviews here. So just to show it on screen, obviously we all know that the Teacher's Kingdom has a 96, 139, so I was a little short, 139 total critical reviews. You see Gaming Age, the Mako Reactor, uh, ZTG, Pocket Lint, Hey Poor Player, RPG Gamer, Carol Quintain. Uh, let's see here. We got uh, Digital Spy, Twinfinite. So you're going to see some Nintendo outlets, and you're like Universal Nintendo, but you're also going to see a lot of non-Nintendo. We got Shinde, we got the Loadout over the Hundo, we got CD Action, we got Game Skinny, IGN Japan, Video Gamer, uh, Melody Hottest Nerds, Dual Shockers, Touch Arcade, Bazy Center, Inven V Games, uh, what was this Game Pressure with the Hundo? CG, Recon, Silicon Era, We Got This Covered, Edge Magazine, Gaming Bolt, 
a uh, uh, German site maybe, uh, Het Neusblad, I don't know, I can't pronounce it, uh, Gamer Sky Cubed 3 Pocket Tactics, Aus Gamers, don't forget about Eurogamer Germany, PC Magazine, chiming in with a hundo, uh, Gamer.nl, Well Played as well, Atomics, Post Arcade National, it just keeps going, we got Nintendo Insider, My Nintendo News, IGM Brazil, Washington Post, The Gamer, Guardian, Aspasio Games, Dexerto, Gameblog.fr, IGN, the US branch. We have Area Dragons. We have CG Magazine, Checkpoint Gaming, COG Connected, ComicBook.com, Destructoid, Game Reactor UK. I mean, it's universally praised, right? This is why, I mean, this game's going to win Game of the Year. Let's just, let's stop beating around the bush. This is going to win Game of the Year. Uh, we have Gamers Hub, GameSpot, Gaming Bible, God is a Geek, IGN, Adria. IGN Spain, Inverse, uh, Mara Station, Metro Game Central, Multiplayer.it, Nintendo Rose, uh, Nintendo Live, Nintendo Duo, Player Two, Press Start Australia, RPG Site, Screen Rant, uh, Survivor Telegraph, The Enemy, uh, Trusted Reviews, Vandal, VG247, VGC, Vux, Play Zine, Worth Playing. And then what's interesting here is seeing that we have Play Zion worth playing and the Games Magazine. Yeah, these aren't perfect scores. They're just a 99, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, guys. Tears of the Kingdom is doing things that are just unprecedented in the gaming sphere. The most amount of perfect scores, uh, continuing to dominate in sales. Hey, by the way, Throw this out there. Because of Tears of the Kingdom, or largely because of Tears of the Kingdom, Nintendo Switch just had its best ever sales in the month of June in its existence in Japan, of all places where everyone owns a Switch. It just had its best June ever. Why? Tears of the Kingdom. I'm just saying, guys, things are going swimmingly when it comes to this particular Zelda game. Now, again, just a quick little ditty for you guys. I thought you would find it interesting since... Everyone on Twitter apparently found it interesting. Also, just to end this video, we have went ahead and joined Threads, I think it's called. I don't know. It's Mark Zuckerberg, a.k.a. Facebook, a.k.a. Instagram's version of Twitter that's just starting out. They have a bunch of promised features to come in the future, but just starting out. We did join there. If you guys want to go follow, we'll put a link to my account down below. I also link to the Twitter as well. We're not necessarily leaving Twitter. We're just, hey, you know what? Where people are at, we want to be there delivering this Nintendo goodness. Guys, thank you so much for being here, and we'll catch you in the next video.